Hey y'all, I'm Wheezy with Prissy Pearls and Outlaws Customized, and today I'm going to show y'all how to fill a glitter tumbler. So I have these hog 16 ounce sublimatable globe glass can tumblers. That is a mouthful to say. So I have already pressed an image here. And I did not, I'm not going to video the part of pressing. If y'all want to see a video of that, I can do one later. I press my glass tumblers at 356 for 60 seconds four times. I've noticed that these tumblers right here, they press better. They love heat. That is one thing I've noticed with them. They like a lot, lot of heat. So today I'm going to do this smiley face tumbler and I'm going to show y'all how to fill it and how to seal it off to be finished with it. I'm going to use this pretty, um, it is called, it's a chunky, it's Mima's Hard Lemonade and it's a chunky high sparkle glitter. That is really pretty. And then I'm going to use a smiley face tumbler. Let me find my little, let me get my little um, funnel here. And I typically do about two funnel fulls in the tumblers. These right here by Hog, I have seen some that have the little hole off to the side, but the Hog ones, I highly recommend them. They are a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but these actually come with a little plug with them that you can fill in. So I'm going to get to filling this. And these are really fun to do once you get the hang of them. They can be a learning curve and a bit of a headache at times. I suggest getting something small to fill it with just to get it, get that glitter moving there. And I would, whenever I use my UV resin, I usually let it cure in the sun especially because it's a beautiful day outside. Okay, there is one. And here is going to be two. And I will put some of these links in my bio. So y'all can find these tumblers. The um, UV resin I'm using today is from CCDIY. I'm not an affiliate with them at all, but I really like their product. And I'm just not a fan of using the UV resin under the resin light. Or the black light, whatever it is. I use the... Um, I like the sun. They just seem like they don't come out sticky. Um, this funnel, I'm really not sure where it came from. They do have nice funnels through Hog. I can post my link for that. These little funnels right here work really well because these are the Hog tumblers that they come with. So next, the product that I'm going to use. This is just a edible vegetable glycerin that I have. It's a, a plant-based glycerin. And then I have, I have just mix it in this little container and then I'm just using a purified water. And from here, I'm going to shake that glitter down into the bottom. I'm going to fill that about halfway and get all this glitter wet. That way it's not, look how cool that looks. That color so, looks so good in there. Okay, so now that all that glitter is not stuck together, just being that the glass is wet and the glitter is dry. So I'm going to fill this up as much as I can right here. And what I do, I don't know where to tell you to get these from anywhere else unless you do sublimation. I have a little cup here that's just got water in it. I have one sublimation syringe. This is for sublimation ink. Well, actually I have two, but this one right here, I bend the end on 
there's a lip inside this little hole right here that um holds the water and stuff in so what i do with the bent one is i pull a little bit of air out and I just go back and forth. I push water in with this one and I pull air out with the other one. And it is a little tricky through the glitter. You kind of have to play with it a little bit until you get, see I still have an air bubble right there. And then if you can't see it like that, you can always see it like this on the side. Okay, now my air bubble's over there. And so what I can do here, I'm getting more water in here. I usually use my bigger syringes, but I can't find them right now. I have bigger ones from sublimation. I'm going to try to get that air bubble a little bit closer to the center. I think I can reach it there. And I'm pulling on the one with the bent end, and I'm pushing more water in to fill that hole in. It takes a little bit to get the hang of it. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. You find out what works best. See how much smaller my air bubble is now? If I can find that air bubble again. And sometimes you may have to let it sit until you can see through it again. See through the glitter. It can be a little tricky. I must have got it filled in because I do not see an air bubble. Oh, there is an air bubble still right. It's right there. Let me see if I can reach it from here. I think that's it right there. I'm trying to get that air, I'm trying to manipulate that air bubble to where it'll go. And a little bit of air in these things is not going to hurt anything. It's just all preference. I like to get as much air out of them as I possibly can. Okay, I got my air bubble right here. And what you do is you just continue to... Kind of play with it until you get that air out. There we go. I got it out. Let me see if I got how much of it I got out. I think I got most all of it out. Yep, I did. Yay. Okay, so we're finished with that. We are completely full there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the end of this off. Hopefully y'all can see. I've been doing other ones of these and I've got a mess around here. Let me put the lid back on this glitter before I pour that everywhere. Okay, so my next step is I've wiped the excess water and vegetable glycerin off of that. These with hogs, like I say, come with the little cap there. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to use just a little bit of rubbing alcohol to clean that oil off of here. Until I make sure it's squeaky clean. And then I'm just going to use, I'm going to hit it with my heat to just dry all that off so I'm not sitting here all day waiting on it to dry. Okay, so now it's time for the UV resin, and what I'm going to do between this UV resin is I'm just going to put a dot on here so that I have a little bit on here, and then I'll pause my video between in and out because I let my stuff cure in the sun, like I just said, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this smooth right around. I keep it, try to keep it in this little line right there around the bottom just so that it's, so I can get it even. But what I'll do is I'll leave this out in the sun. It's a beautiful day here in South Carolina. So I'm going to just go stick it in the sun and let it cure naturally. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit it with the heat gun one more time just to get any air bubbles out just for a second. 
so I will be right back. I'm going to pause this video and go stick this in the sun for a couple minutes. Okay, I got it cured so you can touch it now. So the next step is pretty much the same step over again. I have a piece of um, sandpaper and all I'm going to do is lightly sand this. And I'm just getting a rough section here. Then I'm going to put another dab of alcohol on here just to clean this up. And that's nice and smooth there. And what I'm going to do is put one of my, um, my stickers on the bottom here. I'm going to let this, I'm going to hit this one more time with the heat gun so we can dry all that. And this just says it's not dishwasher safe, hand wash only. And of course, don't drop. These are actually for my epoxy tumblers, but it also works good for these. Sometimes I put this on on the second layer, but this one right here is nice and smooth. So I'm just going to put it on this layer. And I may not have to do but one more layer on here of the UV resin. But then again, I may do two more depending on how this lays out on here so I'm gonna smooth this out and it's such a pretty day this I think cured in like two minutes but I left it out there about five minutes and I did get that a little thicker than I wanted it, but it'll be fine. Like I say, that sun outside will help it tremendously. I'm going to hit it with the heat just to get any air bubbles out. And I will be back momentarily. Okay, so here we are outside. Here's along with some other ones that I'm working on right now. Here is the final product. If you see, the bottom's nice and smooth, and we have a pretty snow globe tumbler. If y'all want to see the video on how to press these, just leave it in the comments, and I can do that as well. Thanks for watching.